dolls welcome back to my channel if you are new please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified first anytime i upload a new video so let's get right into the video in today's video i'm going to be talking about skincare mistakes you should avoid if you want to have a clear glowing beautiful skin if you are someone who have gotten that expensive skincare products or expensive skincare routine and yet you are not getting good results you probably must have been making some of the skincare mistakes which i'm about to say in this video or maybe you are a teenager who is just growing up you probably must have been making some of the skincare mistakes which i'm also about to say in this video so the first one is using sponge on your face i know some of you will be like oh why would somebody even use sponge on the face some of you did it when you were younger so for some teenagers who are watching my video right now and you are using sponge on your face you need to stop it i even believe there are some people who also be doing it and they are not teenagers they don't. probably you feel when you use a sponge to wash your face then you'll be getting a good result from your face then you'll probably get rid of the impurities and the bacteria on your face but that is actually not true your face is very delicate you don't want to introduce more bacteria to it and you don't have to scrub your face with a sponge to get it clean just with your hand alone your palm will get your face properly clean accompanied with a good cleanser actually will get your face thoroughly clean so if you are using sponge or using any special thing on your face to clean it it is not necessary only your palm will get your face clean and that is enough because you don't need to use anything too harsh on your face so you need something very mild and subtle and your palm is the perfect thing for it so the next skincare mistake is using a skincare product that is not good for your skin type this can actually change your entire skin because when you're using a skincare product everybody is hyping online that this skincare product is very good and if it's not for your skin type and you waste your money to get it you're going to be getting an adverse effect that's where you see some people saying oh i'm getting acne from this skincare product oh i'm getting eczema and rashes from this skincare product and this is a skincare product that some people are preaching that it is very good on their skin so when you're using a skincare product that's not made for your skin type then you get bad results from it so when you are listening to reviews on skincare products online make sure you get to know if it works for a certain skin type so to know your skin type we have combination skin we have an oily we have dry we have normal and we also have a very sensitive skin some skincare product might be good for your skin type but it might be too sensitive for your skin so when you're using a bad skincare product or your skincare product is not made for your skin type this can just completely disrupt the good effect of that product you are using on your skin so make sure you check the product you are getting if it is good for your skin type so the next skincare mistake some of you might be making is not using sunscreen i know you are using a good body lotion and since you have been using this body lotion you have not been getting any hyperpigmentation or sunburn on your skin skincare product is very good you don't need a sunscreen hmm. you definitely need sunscreen you might not know the effect of the sun on your skin not until you start using sunscreen and you notice a big difference on your skin i remember back then when i was not using sunscreen when i take care of my skin in the morning and i'm about to go out maybe like go to school when i'm coming back during the day my skin is always looking weird out it's not be looking as shiny and glowy as it was before i left the house that is the effect of not using sunscreen even sometimes you can see your skin looking very fair and beautiful in the morning but when you go out in the sun and come back your skin is not looking red looking weird out not looking as shiny as it was in the morning although when you sleep the next morning when you take care of your skin again it will look it will assume bright to you again and you keep repeating that cycle with time you're going to be having a lot of fine lines and wrinkle on your skin so make sure you're using sunscreen not using sunscreen can actually destroy your skin and also for some skincare products you might be using the skincare product might be very sensitive to the sun so when you are not using sunscreen with those type of skincare products when you are using it you're not going to be getting good results and that's also the reason why you see some people getting a better result than you who is not using sunscreen so today make sure you get a good sunscreen another skincare mistake is exfoliating your skin when you know you have an open wounds or an open acne if you know you have a lot of acne on your face and they are kind of open they are not closed just keep on exfoliating your skin first even if you have it on your body like open wounds or little injuries on your skin just avoid scrubbing for that time allow the injury or allow the open wounds to heal properly allow the acne to close up or clear up properly or rather focus on your acne first before exfoliating your skin because when you exfoliate on open wounds 
Of course, I don't need to even tell you, you will start experiencing bony sensation and those injuries and open wounds or acne on your skin will even get 10 times worse when you exfoliate on them. So the next skincare mistake is scrubbing your skin first before cleansing your skin. So this is a very big debate that people have on the internet. Should I scrub first or should I clean my skin first? So make sure you are cleaning your skin first before scrubbing your skin because scrubbing your skin is something that needs to go deep into your skin. So when your skin is not properly clean, there is no room for those scrubs to go into your skin deeper and exfoliate your skin out. So it is very good for you to clean your skin first before scrubbing your skin. So make sure you also use your body wash first before scrubbing your skin then after scrubbing your skin you can then go in with your body wash again to maybe get rid of the excesses from the body scrub you must have used on your skin but cleaning should be the first thing in your skin before you scrub your skin another mistake so many of you are making is that you are not listening to your intuition you are not listening to your mind when you open that skincare product that face cream or that body lotion and you feel this harsh strong smell from it and your mind tells you that oh this is a bleaching skincare product or this is a bad skincare product. You don't listen to your intuition. You still go ahead and use it. And at the end of the day, you start getting damages and bad results from it. A good skincare product is not supposed to smell strong or smell harsh. Just like this carotone face cream back then and some other skincare product kind of similar to carotone. When you open it, immediately you're going to perceive this harsh strong smell from it. When your mind just tells you that, ah, this body lotion is a strong one, this body lotion might not be good for me, this body lotion is looks like a bleaching skincare product, don't doubt yourself, run from that skincare product. Listen to your intuition when the product says bleaching, when the product says strong, you should just run from it. Another skincare mistake some of you might be making is using too many exfoliating skincare products in your skincare routine. We have cleansers, we have toners, we have body lotion, we have body scrub. When you use too many exfoliating products, like your body lotion is an exfoliating product, your bath soap is an exfoliating product, your toner is an exfoliating product, your serum is an exfoliating product, you might end up start drying out your skin. Instead of you to be having a very smooth, radiant skin, you'll be experiencing little acne here and there. That's when you see people using skincare products and you are just getting an unnecessary acne on your skin and you don't know where it is coming from. Check your skincare product. Does it contain exfoliating properties like lactic acid? If all your skincare products are all exfoliating, 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 and you are using it every single day, morning and evening, obviously over exfoliating is not good for the skin and you end up not getting good results from your skincare products. Another skincare mistake some of you might be making is shaving your downstairs area or your underarm before scrubbing your skin. I don't even need to tell you the effect of this. For people who are doing this, you already know what I'm talking about. When you shave down there or you shave your underarm first before you scrub your skin on days where you've been scrubbing your skin, you are going to notice an excruciating bony sensation from it. So make sure that you scrub your skin first Yes, yeah, scrub it with the hair on it before you shave those areas of your skin. And with this, you will also prevent things like bacteria and prevent any harshness on your skin and even prevent bumpiness and redness. When you scrub your skin first, with that, you have already cleaned your skin. Now you have scrubbed your skin. You have removed some dead skin cells, you removed some dead on that area of your skin and now you are shaving those areas. With that, you're going to get a better result. You're not going to experience any body sensation or any bad effect from it. But when you shave first before you exfoliate your skin, the results will be very bad, honestly. It will be very, very bad. So these are another skincare mistakes you should avoid. So the next skincare mistake some of you might be making is not following the proper way to layer your skincare product. When we talk about how to layer your skincare product, this is not just an excess, like something that is not necessary. It is very necessary because when you don't layer your skincare product the way you're supposed to layer it, that is when you start getting purging, like your skin will just unnecessarily start breaking out because you've used things in the wrong order. So it will not, definitely, it will not go well the way it's supposed to go well when you use things in the wrong order. So make sure you use it in the right order. By cleaning your skin first, you apply your toner, your serum, your moisturizer, and then your sunscreen. If you do it the other way around, you might not be getting a good result in your skin care routine. So the next skincare mistake is not properly researching on skincare ingredients before combining it to 
together. I know this is not something that so many people we know right on their head. Like it's something you can go online on Google to browse. When you get the skincare products, try and check some major ingredients in that skincare products and check your other ones that you have at home and see if the ingredients are it together. Oh, does this one contain retinol? Or oh, does this one contain vitamin C? Or oh, does this one contain hyaluronic acid? Just check the ingredients in them and see if they match together. You can just simply take your phone and check on Google. Oh, does this ingredient and this ingredient match together? And when it says yes, wow, that's perfect. Then you can use it together. But when it doesn't say it works well together, make sure you avoid it because this will also cause purging and bad reactions on your skin. So guys, these are some of my top 10 skincare mistakes. I feel that some of you are making and it's preventing you from getting the best results in your skincare routine. So that brings us to the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified first anytime I upload a new video. See you guys in my next video.